Hello guys, welcome back to Azure Passion Learning Series. In this video, we are going to see how to connect to a Windows and a Linux VM via Azure Passion. So let me just go ahead and create a Windows VM uh, in a VNet, which is already deployed uh, in East, East West region. So I'm going to deploy a Windows server. Uh, let me select the region as East West. Give a name to the VM. I'm going to name it as Windows VM. I'm not going to open up any inbound ports for this VM since the connectivity is going to happen over private IP address. I'm just going to make it as that. Next. I will use standard HDD as a voice this type. Next. I'm going to deploy this VM into a subnet called VM subnet, which we already created. And I, I'm not going to associate any public IP address to this VM. I'll leave the NSG as basic, a default one. And I'll go to management. Don't need any boot diagnostic, auto shutdown faults. Next. And I'll just go ahead and create. All right. So while the deployment is in progress, I'll just go ahead and create a Linux VM as well. Um, so once the Linux VM is deployed, we will see how we can connect uh, to the Linux and the Windows VM via Azure Bashing. All right. So let me just go ahead and create a Linux VM. I'm going to deploy it in the same region, East US. Name of the VM as I'll use password. And I'm not going to open port 22 as well here. So I will choose voice discuss standard HDD. Click on next. <clears throat> I'm going to deploy this VM to the same subnet as we deployed the Windows VM. I'm not going to associate any public IP address. I will leave the NSG NIC uh, to basic. And I will just go ahead and create it so so basically this deployment would take like five to ten minutes so i'm gonna pause this video once the vm is deployed i'll go ahead and show you how to connect to those vms via azure bashing all right uh, the deployment are successful um let me first go to the Windows VM. As you can see, um, there are no public IP address associated to this VM, only private IP address. And when you click on connect, you can see three options, RDP, SSH, or Bash. So you just need to click on Bash. So do you want to open it in a new window or a new tab? So I wanted to open the same tab. Um, uh, uh, same window with the new tab. Just gonna type in the username and password and click on connect. So ask whether um, do I need to uh, see text and image copy to this uh, clipboard? I will just click on allow. As you can see, there is a clipboard over here. So you can just, whatever text that you copy, it, it'll, you'll be able to see that in this clipboard. And you can copy from here and use it in your um, VM. So as you can see over here, um, I'm logging into the Windows VM. So this is how the user experience looks like when you connect to a Windows VM. I'll just open a new tab here. 
so that I can show you how the SSH experience looks like. Alright. Let me go to this bash and demo resource group where I can navigate to the Linux VM. As you can see, the Linux VM also doesn't have any public IP address. I'll just click on connect. I will choose Bashin. I will type in username and the password. So there you go. So, um, so I'm now successfully able to SSH to the Linux box. Here it is. Yeah, I'm, I have already been or SSH to the Linux box, and this is how the um, you know bashing experience looks like for the Linux box. And here you go. This is my Windows server machine. And this is how the experience looks looks like for the Windows VM via Bash. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching.